Time now for Consumer Confidential. It's, it's never been easier to order takeout than these days, but no matter what app you use, you might be surprised to learn where that food's coming from. In fact, it may not be from a restaurant at all. Investigative and consumer correspondent Vicky Wen is here. This is a fascinating concept. I had no idea that this was happening. Yeah, and I think most people don't know, and the food is still just as good. You get it, and you get more choices, which is the fun part. They're called ghost kitchens, and despite the name, there is nothing spooky about them. They're a way to open small businesses, introduce new food choices to consumers, and they are cooking up some delicious dishes at the ghost kitchen we visited in New Jersey. When the pandemic shut down restaurants across the country, 8 million workers lost their jobs overnight. The National Restaurant Association reports 110,000 restaurants closed for good. That's 17 percent of the nation's eateries. But a new lifeline, Ghost Kitchens. They're a delivery or pickup only restaurant that accepts call in or online orders. No dining room, no service staff, just cooks who make the meals. So how exactly do these ghost kitchens work? I'm here with Jamil Labou. He's the co-founder of Wing Champs. Jamil, tell me, how has this helped your business? Uh, it's been beautiful. It um, gives me the flexibility to still make it home to my kids. It takes the pressure off of running uh, a physical location of, of my own right now. If people want to order Wing Champs, they can't go to a restaurant to do it. What do they do? Well, they order off our site online or they go to Uber Eats. Jamil used to sell his wings from a food truck, but permit fees, labor, and truck maintenance all added up. He says renting a ghost kitchen means having all the tools for restaurant quality food without the extra costs of a traditional restaurant. And when the coronavirus hit. Your business actually picked up during the pandemic? Yes, I, I skyrocketed to be honest. Wow. And how's the food? Okay, so which one is my order? This is your order right here. Can't <laughs> wait to try it. I'm gonna take a step back so okay. I can try and take mm -hmm. off my mask. It looks amazing. So good. <laughs> Wing Champs is one of 12 ghost kitchens operating out of the Garden State Kitchen in Orange, New Jersey, open 24-7. Co-founder Chris Oleff says many are stirring up success in a second career. We are seeing many more people who are unemployed from losing their job in the restaurant business and for the first time having the time, energy and motivation to start a dream. And there's a community aspect to ghost kitchens too. One space like this in Orange, New Jersey can host multiple kitchens, which means for you, the diner, multiple food choices. That steak looks amazing. And here we have Indira Sturdevant. She's launching a new Latin fusion concept. What made you decide to go with this kitchen route? I would say overhead cost is very expensive on a brick and mortar restaurant. So it's actually, um, you know, a, a brand new way to facilitate those that don't have $500,000 to start a restaurant. Indira graduated from culinary school, but chose consulting for her career. She fed her craving for the kitchen by catering music festivals. With the COVID-19 crisis, she lost her job and the music stopped. And then I found out about this kitchen last year. So it, this is a brand new experience on all points for us. And so far? It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> So can't wait to try it. Yes, Thank hope you, you like it. I'm gonna get one of those shrimp. So good. That's gonna be a big hit. Consumers win. Not only are new mom and pops opening up, but established chains like Chipotle, Wow Bao, and Famous Dave's can also open ghost kitchens to serve new neighborhoods. It means that the consumer has more choices and options than ever before. The National Restaurant Association says pre-pandemic, 5% of restaurant orders were digital. Now that's increased to 20%. Are ghost kitchens helping to save the restaurant industry? In this environment, yes. And over the longer term, they will be a mainstay. We'll never say goodbye to dining out, but technology, the pandemic, and demand for good food cooked up a kitchen concept here to stay. Yeah, and consider this, one in 10 working people in America work for a restaurant in the food industry, so it is vital to our economy. Two and a half million restaurant workers are still unemployed, but these ghost kitchens are helping to bring a small number of workers back, and many businesses have found success starting out this way, so 
It's a fantastic concept, great for startup businesses. And if you're wondering about safety, yeah. ghost kitchens are inspected just like restaurants are. So local health department inspectors go in to make sure the food is safe and that everything's up to code. I think it's a fantastic yeah. idea. You yeah. think of people you grew up with who were great cooks, right? Yes. They didn't have a restaurant or what have you or the money to have that. But if you could have something like this, sure. the food speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, this is a great. way to build a following and people don't need to know that you're a brick and mortar restaurant. Yeah. They just order the food, they get it, they like it, and I then love maybe it. that transitions to a real restaurant. That's a great wow. Thank you, Vicky. Good, I think that's here to stay. Mm -hmm. Opened I, our eyes. Yeah. Ghost Kitchens. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.